This is Matthew Lyman from the Landlord Advocates. I'm coming to you from the Schenectady City Hall in upstate New York. Just moments ago, the Schenectady City Council went out of committee meetings in the room behind me. One of the issues that they were discussing was rent stabilization. City Council Member Damani Farley was the one who proposed that action. Much discussion was had, and it looks like they're going to discuss it even further in a few months. His reasoning behind it was that the community needs it. Some of his ideas were that stable tax base creates stable housing, which that's not the case at all, because when you factor in other expenses that landlords have, taxes are not just one of those expenses for landlords. He had mentioned that any $100 increase in rent notes a 9% increase in homelessness. We would disagree with that as well. His basis behind pushing rent stabilization here in the city of Schenectady in upstate New York, right, so, right outside of Albany, New York, the capital, was that inflation rates are 8.6%. He cited a study by an organization called CoStar in the Washington Post. He had claimed that between 2019 and 2022, that rent increases in the city of Schenectady went up 9.8% from 2019 to 22. As many landlords will attest, the eviction moratoriums and the emergency rental assistance program have basically prohibited evictions in New York State. There are landlords that have not seen any rent in over two years. So rent increases that have been happening, some have been because housing market has increased, housing prices have increased, which that bubble will be going down as many of you have already experienced. But also, when you look at rent increase that he claims from this report is 9.8% from 2019, 2021, 20, and now 2022, is not really a lot at all. Most municipalities, including California, the state of California, usually looks at 5% as a normal rate increase every year for rent. So in that four-year time frame, we would be looking at 20% rent increase, not 9.8%. The good cause eviction that never made it out of committee in the state of New York, which we did a video on that, which we'll be able to see at the end of this video, allowed for 3% rent increase. Over that same time frame, that would have been 12%. Again, Schenectady County is at 9.8%. So even with the big proponents of good cause eviction in the state of New York, the rent increase in Schenectady County is below what they allow under good cause eviction. It is below what the normal rate would be in the state of California, which we all know is a very liberal state, of 5%. Now, right now, as of 2018, the latest numbers that are out, only 182 cities across America have rent stabilization. 32 states have actually forbid rent stabilization. Only four states allow it. New Jersey, New York, Maryland, California, and also the District of Columbia has rent stabilization. Only four. 32 states have said no. Four have allowed it. Here in New York State, it is allowed. So we employ landlords who are in this vicinity, because this can happen in other areas, we've seen that the good cause legislation was shot down in the city of Albany just last week, and we did a video on that. We should be able to see that as well at the end of this video. But we implore landlords, and in particular those that are living in the city of Schenectady or that own rental property in the city of Schenectady to take up the mantle and join the fight against rent stabilization, because once rent stabilization comes in, it could mean under the Housing and Community Renewal Act in New York State, that it could mean that your tenant has a right to have their lease renewed, not for one, but for two years, it's their choice. It also limits the amount that you can increase rent. Now, rent stabilization is not as harsh as rent control, but what could very well happen is that tenants can go from rent control or from rent stabilization to rent control. Some of the comments that 
City Councilman Damani Fowley Maine, who has been a supporter of rent stabilization. And she said that we want to be able to incentivize rent stabilization for landlords. We will tell you, Council Member Farley, and anyone that supports that initiative, that landlords will never, ever support rent stabilization or rent control of any kind. It is beyond comprehension that anyone would believe that landlords would be supportive of rent control slash rent stabilization. As we said earlier, he stated that $100 rent increase adds to 9% to the homeless numbers. 9%. There's a 9% increase in homelessness when the rent goes up $100 a month. He questions why rents have gone up. He knows why, but we're going to elucidate him and everybody else who is watching this video. Many landlords have not received any money or very little money from their tenants since March of 2020 to this day, and we e wrap the way it's going, it can go into next year when they cannot evict and maybe not see any money at all. So even when the impediments put upon landlords to remove tenants from the property, not being able to get tenants out, not getting, not having tenants pay the rent that they have now, even at 9.8% rent increase is very low compared to what landlords could be raising their rent too, because of all of the lost revenue that they've had by no tenants paying rent and landlords not being able to evict. So we asked new landlords who live in the city of Schenectady and new landlords that own rental property in the city of Schenectady, namely from Richmond Hills, Jamaica, Queens, New York City, to take up the mantle and join the fight to not allow rent stabilization to become a part of the city of Schenectady or the county of Schenectady, or any county for that matter, in New York State. This is Matthew Lyman from the Landlord Advocates. Have a good night.